Hello everyone, my name is Ajmer Deen and welcome to my channel Analyze with Ajmer Deen 5th December 2020 and it was an examination of EIS and SM for intermediate new course and uh, the suggested answers of uh, the EIS SM is already uploaded on my blog the link is given into the description box you can check down all the detailed answers as it is which may be suggested by the ICI as well and uh, coming to this video we are going to briefly discuss about uh, one by one what could be the answer in a hint wise else you can also visit my blog for the detailed answers i took a poll before uh, this uh, making this video and uh, uh, according to that poll how was the examination so 40% found easy 55% found it average and 5% candidates found it tough for November 2020 examination first a coming to the solution first day was related to uh, three application areas of data analytics in today world so it can be used in banking e-commerce and healthcare sector first B was related to briefly explain any two types of mortgage and banking systems of course home loan and loan for construction of property can be the answer 2a was related to discuss any three update controls and three report controls so major update controls are like sequence check between transaction and ma master file uh, ensuring all records files are processed and process multiple transaction for a single record in a correct order and for report control it can be standing uh, data print run to run control totals and print uh, your suspend account ent entries as well which is usual a uh, general transaction in the banking sector as well coming to 2b was related to after defining risk appetite uh, strategies are set to manage risk as explain any four risk management strategies so tolerance uh, tolerate the risk transfer the risk terminate the risk or treat or turn back the risk can be the answer 3a is related to the benefits of ERP system so it was an easy question I believe uh, information integration reduction of lead time on time shipment and uh, uh, we can also say improved resource utilization can be the answer of the same next question was related to define any four constraints which are usually taken from from the characteristics of grid environment and application in order to develop grid computing security architecture and here you can say data management and uh, risk uh, data management resource management and uh, um, I think we can write down more about it uh, standardization and uh, support for multiple implementation can be the answer coming to fourth a was related to explain any six common IT risk related to CBS uh, then of course authorization ownership of property authorization procedures and processes and uh, several software interface across the diverse network is some of are some of the common IT risk to the uh, CBS and uh, here we can also write down about access controls and incident handling procedures as well coming to fourth B was related to public cloud and what are the characteristics of public cloud so it is highly scalable affordable less secure but highly available uh, are the some of the characteristics which can be write down here fifth a was related to uh, define any six components of ERM framework so it can be your information and communication object setting event identification risk assessment risk response and control activities fifth b1 was related to define any two information system controls based on objective of control so it is preventive controls and detective controls fifth b second was related to name any four activities executed by operating system so of course it is user interface and uh, performing hardware functions are the same the optional question was related to cryptography coming to sixth a was related to what are the strategy here uh, here uh, performed so in my opinion it is a differential strategy and uh, it can be adopted by the uh, following process that uh, first of all offer utility to the customer and match products with their taste and preferences offer high quality product taking steps for enhancing brand image and brand value for example we can say about iPhones seventh a was related to draw a divisional structure so I believe it it is easy for you for example you can draw like 
uh, chief executive under that corporate finance and corporate legal and under corporate finance you can uh, further divide it into general managers then further divided into different level of uh, uh, assistants and managers and personals uh, then it asked about give advantages and disadvantages of these structures so uh, the detailed answer is also available on my blog. Seventh P was related to what is strategic control and kindly explain the statement. Premise control is the tool of uh, systematic and continuous monitoring of the of the environment. So here is a very uh, popular uh, definition which you can quote about uh, Hoffer related to strategic control. And coming to eighth A was related to. Uh, uh, discuss the guidelines for uh, selection of research and development enterprises by the organization so if the rate of technical process is slow then the rate of market growth may be modern and moderate and there can be a significant barrier to possible new entrants so then the in-house research and development is preferred solution and if the technology is changing rapidly uh, and the market is growing slowly then a major effort in research and development may be a risky because um, technology is growing very rapidly if technology is slow but market growth is quick then there is generally not enough time for in-house development and then the prescribed approach to obtain in-house uh, prescribed uh, prescribed approach to obtain research and development is to have an R&D expert and or executive on non uh, executive basis from outside the firm so these can be some of the you know you need to categorize all these uh, related to market and related to the technical processes and developments. Eighth B was related to why companies should go global. So of course uh, there can be many reasons. So first and foremost can be reason need to grow. So company if you want to grow then basically you need have a global impact as well so it is basic need of the organization and often finding opportunity in is, uh, opportunities in other part of the world is also good there is a rapid shrinking of time and distance so uh, it is due to the communication speed or transportation and that's why uh, going global is not now a big task so companies can often set up and oversee plants as well for uh, reducing the high transportation cost as well. Ninth A was related to state the factors of uh, human resource that have strong influence on the employee uh, components. So of course, research and uh, selection, recruitment and selection, appraisal time to time and training, uh, compensation of the uh, of the workforce, offering pays for and rewards can be the uh, answer. And then it relates to what is the strategic vision and what are the essentials for strategic vision. So strategic vision is a roadmap for a roadmap for a company's future and provide specific about technology and com customer focuses. As essentials can be um, like forming a strategic vision is an exercise in uh, intellect entrepreneurship and a uh, well architect. Uh, strategic vision creates enthusiasm uh, amongst the members of the organization can be the answer. 10th A was related to your there is a need of strategic management for government and medical organization to comment. So here you need to write down uh, for government uh, separately and uh, medical separately for the strategic management. Um, 10th B was related to briefly describe the meaning of divestment and liquidation strategy and establish differential difference between the two. So divestment strategies involve the scale or liquidation of uh, a portion of business or some of the major divisions but liquidation strategy it involves closing down of a firm and selling of the assets. So this, this is the um, broad you know differentiation uh, amongst them. In different uh, divestment strategy the efforts are made to for the survival of the organization and in liquidation of course uh, it is a form of you know retrenchment strategy and it considered most extreme and inactivated then it came to the write a short note on, uh, note on requirement of strategy audit and what are the basic activities which are involved in it so uh, strategic audit uh, note 
why there is a need so basically there's a need uh, you need to write down in a way that uh, the strategy uh, strategy audit is a need for uh, because of you know when the performance indicators reflects that the strategy is not working properly then you need to have a better audit about the strategy when the goals and objective of the strategy are not being accomplished and when the top management plans are you know not taking place in a proper way then three basic activities which are involved are examining examining and underlying the basis of firm strategy comparing expected results with the actual results and taking corrective actions to ensure that the performance are comforts and com performances confirms the plan so thank you very much and detailed answers are again available on my blog please do visit it if you require thank you